we're so happy to see you. We've had our first snow this year. We've had Thanksgiving. We had some great time with your family. And talk about gratitude. But that's what that day it's now about. We're also moving into Hanukkah starting and the Christmas season. And I'm really excited to share those shows with you as we train this month. So before we get started, some objects we need. We're going to need a chair. If you have a noodle or a hula hoop, or can tape a circle on the ground. Those are some things we're going to do because we're working on two things this month. So turn those in your on. Super boots. Muscles. And laser beam eyes. Two things we're working on. This. Excellent. Being better than we were the day before. Working on being our favorite self and courage because it takes a lot of hard work and there are going to be scary moments. But together in your great tight circle who has your back, you can achieve both these things on the mat and out in the world. On the mat and in life. So let's bow in and get started. Um, feet together, courtesy. So the first thing we're going to do is you can use a chair or a wall. Chair is closer if you're far away from the TV or whatever platform you're using. Put our hand on it and turn our planted foot, our grounded foot towards the object. We've done these a lot before with our roundhouse kick, but today we're gonna do a side kick. So our knee is towards the chair, our heel and our tushkas is towards the opposite side. And we're gonna push out, say one, bring it back. So you wanna have a crown on your head and your shoulders back, breathing deeply, because our breath control is very important when it comes to courage. Out and back, one more. Out, back, and turn down. Well done, let's go to the other side. Roll the shoulders back. Reach mm. and stretch it out, roll the shoulders back. Put our grounded foot, shoulders up. Knee, rotate, heel and touch guess. All the way out, back, one more. Out, back, keep those shoulders back, breathing deeply, out, back and rotate down. So what are the names of the kicks? Side kicks. And how many parts? Up, out, back, and down. Those are still four. A side kick comes with the side and hits with the heel. Give yourself two claps. With accents, we're gonna make this stronger. If you have a grown up there or a sibling, they're gonna hold the noodle and you're going to pick up the opposite leg and throw a side kick. And they're gonna pull it, and you're gonna side kick. You're not gonna just do what I did, like, ha ha, fight your sword over here, kick, kick, no. They're gonna pull you, and with every pull, you're gonna throw a kick. Boom, balancing on them, teamwork, but working on what's called a machine kick, a pump kick. So with every kick, instead of just one, you can do more and more. So I'm gonna give you a minute, using the noodle, they can pull forward and you can kick towards them. If you're ready for a challenge, they can pull the other way and you can kick the opposite direction. One minute, have fun. draw a circle and you're gonna do side kicks around the inner circle or around the outer circle. This is, takes excellence. So if you wanna do this today, more power to you. You're gonna be like, you know what? I did that other two was act really hard. I'm gonna work on this, but I'm gonna try even harder another day. That is okay too. Do what you can now and work on it later. As Yoda says, there is no try, there is only do or something fancy like that. I'm not good. 
So we're going to put that foot up and we're going to side kick as you go around. If you want, you can just put your foot around and see if you can get the movement. And then when you're ready, working on excellence, being brave, showing courage, pick up the foot and start side kicking around the circle. I'm going to give you 90 seconds because this one's a little harder. Push yourself, be your favorite self. Go. stretches, maybe even some nice yoga moves to calm your heart, warm your legs, as I read you this month's lesson. Well, this week's lesson, to get us in the right mindset for the rest Comfy. of the week. Keep stretching, breathing deeply, or lock it up. The young prince had never seen a dragon before. There was a young prince, maybe even a young princess. Imagine you start with like a face, maybe a mod. There was a young warrior. Some called him a prince, a knight. Others think that in the story it's a princess. But this warrior had never seen a dragon. But they had heard and knew of the great strength and the hot fire that could breathe out of this creature. Fierce nostrils and scary looking eyes. The warrior was all alone one morning, out in the fields, kind of like this season, but they wake up, there's frost on the top of everything. It was this morning, quiet stillness of early dawn, the dragon appeared. The dragon. Imagine a dragon just pop in your backyard. He had gone for an early ride on his favorite horse and just galloped down the path into the woods. As they turned the corner, he found himself face to face with a dragon. Who do you think was more surprised? The dragon? Or the warrior? The child? The warrior could have turned on his horse and run right away. He maybe would have escaped, but the dragon was heading. Scaly reptile. 
pals, marching around town. It's a figure of speech, yes. There are dragons in our lives. They may not look like the dragons in the fairy tales, but there are things that require us to pull our shoulders back, speak up for ourselves and listen to the still small voice in our hearts and our minds that says, be brave, be you. So this week in the spirit of Hanukkah, every day I want you to put down a list of the things in your day that require courage, your daily drafts. You can do one a day for the next seven days, eight, seven, eight days, or you can do one today, to the next, building up each day. But take this opportunity to see the light inside yourself and how much light you bring into the world around you by saying, I am me, I am brave, and being your favorite self. So let's get back up and I'll put up a nice, quick, fancy activity on the screen. Get right into it, channel that spirit, and be the best be your favorite you. Let's go.
those legs through really fast. We're gonna step back with that right foot, that left foot is forward. That's our left guard, so we're gonna take our hand. We're gonna do a back fist. Chicken wing, chicken wing, back fist. Take the other hand, half a moose, big shot. Over time, hands are up. Back fist, half a moose, big shot. Feet together. So that's power set to part applesauce, the beginning. What you're going to do is if your grown up is there, and they still have that noodle, they're gonna have you duck for the clock up for a minute. They're gonna swing at your head and you're going to squat like a rock, jump up and show them a back fist. So one more time, noodle, squat, avoid being struck and come up with that back fist. Go. Up, 
tiger, claw, and go bull. Give yourself two claps. Let's put it all together. I'm going to turn sideways. Listen to the words. Do it with me. I know I trouble. Guard hands. Up claw. Tiger. Claw. Hands go up. One step, two step. One step, two step. Aya. Go bull. Let's do it a little bit faster now. A little more like an elf. A joyous little creature. Or even someone leaping over the fire at the end of a warrior dash. Takes a lot of courage. We gotta go fast. Okay? I don't want to kill. Guys, yes. Up up. Tiger claw. One step, two step. Aya! And go bull. marvelous athletes. I love seeing you be brave with your animal in trouble and keep on pushing yourself. Because bowling's hard. It's something that seems easy, but sometimes we well, don't have good aim. It happens. I've seen someone throw a ball and it's like went over like way far, far away. It happens. But you're able to have fun, train your martial arts, as well as be silly. That's a win. Give yourself two claps. If you have that noodle or a pillow, I'm gonna use the noodle. I'm gonna put it down right here. And I'm gonna take my back foot, I'm gonna step over. I'm gonna take my left foot again and stomp again. Boom. And then I'm gonna take my noodle and sort of with the grown up. For a couple of seconds. And then I'm gonna do it again. Do this one with me. I'm gonna take my back foot, pick up my knee really hard, stomp like a dinosaur. Cool. And then I'm gonna do what? Yes! Stomp like a dinosaur! Now pick up your noodle! And quick sword play with me! Go! Five, four, duck, jump, poke! Three, two, one! Yes! Give yourself two claps. I'm gonna give you a minute. And you're gonna do it with your grown up. Stepping over, stepping over, and sword fighting. Make sure that knee comes up really, really high. And your hands stay up really, really high. Like a knight holding a shield. Big stomp, you gotta get on that horse before you ride off into the sunset. Go! Last one, I'm gonna do it with you, and then you gotta do it by yourself. Are you ready? 
Feet together. Gracias. Up, in, out. Tiger claw. Front kick. Ayo! Feet together. And give yourself. So now we're going to say the words and you're going to follow along with the words and do it by yourself. Trusting your skills. It's going to take courage because you can't watch. you got to listen. I'll have some music on. So be brave and be you. Hands on back. Feet on floor. Tigers. Four. Feet together. Curtesy. Tiger four. Three. Draw and stance. Up. In. Out. Off the front hand. Yes. Tiger claw with the back hand. Turn the foot. Coming forward, big squish with that front kick. ay Feet together, curtasi. Well done, athletes. So proud of you. Thank you for joining us. It brings joy to my heart, and I hope that you continue to feel the joy of the light shining in you as you feed it these skills and concepts into your favorite self. Let me see those workouts, those pictures, those videos. Ask the questions. Share your victories. Share your concerns. And we will see you soon. Hands on back. Feet on floor. Courtesy. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.